Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks Sent by You series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys sent to me. It's already part 9, but you guys find new tricks every week. Very nice. As always, I'll be giving away one battle pass to one random submission. And if you want to submit something, feel free to join my Discord server or tag me on Twitter. You guys are sending me more and more tricks, so this one is a little bit longer than normal. Hope you enjoy it. And before I start the video, I quickly want to say that I was in Romania last weekend for college. I had a wonderful time, but sadly I have to write a whole report about it. It. So maybe there will be a little less videos this week, but uh, hey, I will try. Now let's start the video. We'll start with maybe the first ever breach trick on the series. When you cast your shock blast, it will shine very bright. So what you can do is cast your flashbang in your shock blast so the enemies won't see your flashbang. A good combo you can throw is here on split. Cast your shock blast, the enemies won't be able to push you. Then cast your flashbang behind it, the enemies will be blinded. Push and kill the enemies, easy peasy. Now a nice sage spell to counter the enemies camping in market. First, make sure mid is clear and ask your team to smoke short so nobody will push you on short then place your wall on this box jump crouch and you will be standing on top of the wall from here you can easily look to market very nice you have a big advantage because the enemy will have to flick all the way up while you have your crosshair on his head now a nice race lineup for if you are rotating and you hear the enemies are in middle aim at the bottom of the billboard and do a running jumping throw your grenade will explode in the air and the small grenades will land on all the spots where the enemies might be standing a good one for some extra damage but before we go further i want to talk about my studio. In my setup video I said that I wanted to put something on this wall and today we're gonna do this with the help of the sponsor of this video, Displate. Displate is a one of a kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. On their site they have more than 1.4 million artists and tons of collaborations with for example Marvel and Hearthstone. I've ordered two displays, one for myself and one for my girlfriend. And the mounting process was very easy, you don't need to break your wall or need any tools. The only thing you have to do is make your wall clean, put stickers on it, put the magnet on the stickers and voila you got a beautiful display on your wall and because of this magnet system you can easily change your display with another one so if you want the display you could click on the link in the description and get up to a 36% discount you could also look at my profile to find my collection of personal favorites and now let's continue the video with Yodo and Haven you cannot cast your E on top of this box sadly it will land on the ground but you can do something about this before you cast your E first place your footsteps on the box where you're standing on when you do this you magically can cast your E on the container from here you could easily peek to see long and of course you could activate your footsteps for some extra chaos now a nice setup for if you want to push a with killjoy stand against this wooden box aim a little bit above the flagpole and throw your nano swarm your nano swarm will land to the left of the generator for the second lineup stand against this wall and aim in the middle of the spike of the explosion and this nano swarm will land behind the generator if you use these two lineups after each other the enemies cannot stand behind the generator so it's a very nice combo and now you have one less angle to check now a nice sage wall on Haven. If you go to these boxes, turn your wall a little bit to the right, then jump, you see that you can place your wall a little bit higher than usual. When you place your wall over there, a teammate with the jump, for example Omen of Jet, can jump on top of your wall. They can easily spot a long, but they can also see all the way to window. A very sneaky spot to get some very sneaky kills, my friends. Now a nice sofa lineup that is not very hard to remember. On a sand, stand in this corner and match the right diamond of your ability bar with the middle side of the vent. Then shoot your shock dart with full charge. After that, wait exactly 5 seconds, aim a little bit to the left of the vent and shoot your shock dart with 2 charges. Both arrows will land in A main, very good. Oh wow. Oh nice. What nice. the? Also, I love this guy's name, very nice. Now a jet super dash that a lot of people were sending to me. I think how to noodle found it out, but it's very sick, so I will show it in this video. Make sure mid is clear, then stand in this corner and aim down the vent. Do your super dash, then immediately your updraft and you will end up in market. A very good one to surprise the enemy. And instead of going to market, you could also go to a short. This one is hard to do because you need to strafe with your left and right arrow. But after some practice, I believe you can do it, my friend. And a tip, you could use a judge to shoot the enemy in their face they will be so tilted now a tip with yoru and split when you are on site and enemies are pushing don't flash this wall because you will only flash yourself instead of that wall flash this roof over here you won't flash yourself but you will flash the enemies for some easy kills let's stay on split and talk about a very unique omen one way a solid omen smoke is over here on a main but sometimes the enemies will push through it because they think they are very good so here's another smoke to counter that after you place the first smoke place a second smoke on the platform on the right now when the enemies push through 
through your first smoke, you have a very good one way to kill the enemies. And here's from the enemy's perspective, very nice. About one ways, here one with Astra on Icebox, you could place your smoke on top of the nest. When activated, the people from belt cannot see you, but you can see the feet of the enemies. And a quick reminder, even though you can only see their feet, never aim for the feet, aim on the head. Now another cool stage wall on Icebox, stand where the vertical iron bar is crossing the diagonal iron bar. When you jump, you see a wall going up. Time it right, crouch and place your wall, it will extend towards you. From here you can easily spot the enemies pushing cave. And a big tip, if you're gonna use this one, I would really recommend using an operator. And this is the enemy's perspective, they won't see anything, a very good strategy. Alternatively, you could also wall over here to look over the boxes. However, the enemies will see you more easily, but they have to flick up so maybe you could get a kill before they shoot you. Also, you could easily jump down when things go wrong. And now another breach trick. Huh? A breach trick? Two in one video? Yes, my friends. We got some breach main standing in some tricks. On Ascent, you could use your flash over here to flash the enemies, but this is actually not a very good flash because you're most likely gonna flash your teammates. But did you know that you could also flash over here from B main? When you aim a little bit down, you see the flash symbol getting a little bit smaller. This means that instead of flashing the wall, you will flash down there. A nice one if you want to flash your teammates in without flashing your teammates. Now let's fly to the other side of Ascent. Do you remember this hole in the wall? It's a nice one to throw nades through with for example rays. But there's another trick you can do. With Sky, when the door is closed, shoot on the door. The enemies will probably now look at the door. So before you break it, cast your bird through the gap, activate it and then break the door. The enemies will be flashed so you can shoot them while they are blind. We're now 6 minutes in this video and maybe some people are getting tired of my voice. So this next clip is voiced by a subscriber named Wachfar. I hope I pronounce it right. And just wall. Wall right. Now you just have to hide behind the wall. And just wait for the enemies to just break the wall and push it. They push. They are clear, they will say clear. They will say clear. They will probably not check here. Yeah, so when you leave a gap, the enemies might not check it and you can get some kills like you see in this clip in the background. Wagfar also got a YouTube channel, so feel free to check him out after this video. Now another trick on Ascent. We got a lot of Ascent tricks this week. With Omen, you can smoke like this. The enemies will think, hey, that Omen messed up his smoke. But in fact, you did this on purpose. You can walk through your smoke towards B side. When you are walking out your smoke, make sure to flash first. Check both house. If nobody's standing there, you can turn around and check market. A sneaky trick, my friends. Now another Nice KO lineup on bind. From hookah, check side, but nobody is checking that. You can go into this corner, aim at the corner of the roof, and throw your Molotov. Your Molly will land in lamps. The enemies will either have to jump back or jump forwards. So you can just push with your team together, check lamps, make an easy kill, or if you're not standing there, you can focus on the side with your team. Very good. And of course, you have to remember every KO lineup you could also use with Killjoy. They fly and land exactly the same. Let's stay on bind and talk about the teleporter. When you use your Yoru steps through the teleporter, the enemy will hear a real sound. Just just like you would walk through the teleporter, not the ability sound. Hear the difference. Decoy. Time to jump. So a tip I gave before is placing your footsteps like this, walk away and activate your footsteps to mess up the enemies. But here's another very basic trick you can use. You can teleport through the teleporter yourself, then cast your footsteps. The enemies will see the footsteps walking out the teleporter, but you are still in it. All you have to do is wait a while, cast your flashbang and then kill the enemies. Very nice. But a big tip, before you go into the teleporter, cast your E somewhere so you have a backup plan when things go wrong. Now let's go back to Ascent for a very unique cypher one way. You can use this trick when you are playing together with a friend. First make sure mid is clear but most of the time the enemies are smoking it anyway. Hug this poster, aim at the corner of the roof and do a jumping throw. Your cage will land on top of the wall. Now your teammate from short could abuse this one way to get some easy kills. Let's stay in short and learn the sofa lineup for B link. From this corner aim at a little gap in the leaves, it's very easy to find. Then jump and shoot your arrow with one charge. The Reckon Dart will spot enemies pushing short and also spot enemies in B link. Very good. Now a sage wall on bind. You can place your wall behind the truck and you can spot the enemies pushing short. Yeah yeah this is actually a kinda boring wall but wait there's more it also blocks off lamps wow this wall is actually very cool now just be careful the enemies could still spot the people in heaven so uh, let your teammate know that now a wall that is actually cool on ascent on lever walk off lever jump crouch and place your wall your wall will get extended and now you have a nice one way towards B main yeah this one is a little bit cooler than the last one and you can always jump back when things go wrong and here another KO lineup that is very easy to remember when you know it's clear hook this wall aim at the light 
go down till you hit the corner and then do a jumping throw. Do this when you are planning to rush A because your molly will land in rafters, very nice. On icebox everybody always plants the bomb over here. But you could also switch things up, when you got control over sight try to plant the bomb over here with viper. Then just go to middle and from there you got a beautiful lineup my friend. Hug this box and aim up so that the crosshair of your C ability will line up with the corner of the snow of the container. Wow that was a mouthful but you can see it in the clip. Then shoot your poison. And of course your poison will land on the spike. When you don't kill the enemy you could always easily peek the spike from mid. And now a cypher cam for if you want to see if enemies are chilling in rafters. Stand on top of the wall, jump and place your cam over there. And now you can see the enemies in heaven. Very nice. And this is the end. I want to thank everyone. I know there were zero fracture tips and tricks during this video. But like I said I was in Romania so I couldn't really record it. But I will make a full video about fracture. If it's out already you can click on the link on the right. Otherwise thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.